Russian. Back to the reactions domestically now here in the U.S. We're joined by Dr. Zudi Jasser. He's the founder and president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. He joins us via Skype from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Dr. Jasser, uh, you are in favor of Mr. Trump's travel ban. Yes, and let me be clear. Thank you for having me. And, and let me be clear about what I'm, in, what I'm in favor of. I'm an American Muslim whose family escaped Syria. I, I do not believe this was a Muslim ban. If it was, I would be vociferously against it. I believe the narrative of American religious freedom is the primary weapon against radical Islam. But having said that, uh, we have had eight years of not identifying the ideology. It's been countering violent extremism, and nobody knows what that is. So it's important to, to vet not only against terror groups. We've been vetting against extremists and violent groups or terror groups. We've not been vetting against jihadists, Islamists, and the ideologies that threaten us. These seven countries, I would have added Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Pakistan. Those are some of the central havens. Of, of the cauldrons of the ideologies that fuel ISIS. So I'm a little bit not understanding why it was only those seven countries. But, you know, I think this is necessary. The, the good thing is that it's a pause. I would be against it if it was indefinite. As a Syrian American with family in Aleppo, I don't understand why Syria was put on the indefinite list. That doesn't make sense. And this was bit done hastily. So I hope they can get the messaging right uh, and better for better clarity about what America stands for. If I understand correctly, you want to fight against uh, an extremist ideology, against jihadism. I think everybody in the U.S. would agree with that. Uh, what some people argue is that individuals are being unfairly targeted and, and put through unduly harsh circumstances. Well, the way this was put through, uh, you know, the, the, the folks on the ground at airports and elsewhere acting very hastily, uh, this uh, could have been done uh, better. I, I think that the, the executive order not done through vetting of state and homeland security was problematic. Uh, but having said that, this isn't just about extremism. This is a battle against theocracy within the House of Islam. It's not just violent extremists, but rather Islamists that don't share our values, that believe in the Sharia state, uh, believe in Wahhabism and Salafism. So these kind of things, yes, we're getting a little bit of whiplash as this administration starts to finally address ideology, and I hope he convenes the Commission on Radical Islamism he talked about in his campaign. Americans have done this from our founding. We fought against theocracy, and I think that's what's being lost in the messaging, is that we're not talking about this as a theopolitical threat, but rather simply as a violent threat, and that's why there's a lot of confusion. All right, Dr. Zudi Jasser uh, from the American Islamic Forum for Democracy, thank you very much for your views. We try to get an array of views, of course, uh, on this travel ban. Thanks a lot. And it is important thank to do that, you know, so we, we, we hear from so many people around the world, millions who are against this at the same time in the United States. There were millions of people who supported uh, President Donald Trump and support uh, what has happened here, this, this travel ban.